Hello, this is Frank Neely from HeartlandDiaryUSA.com, bringing you news every conservative can use. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay up to date. And today, a historic hearing was held in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, where the state Senate of Pennsylvania took testimony on the corrupt, fraudulent election that led to Joe Biden being certified in Pennsylvania as the winner when the evidence indicates that President Trump was the rightful winner. You're going to hear from Doug Mastriano, a state senator from Pennsylvania, in his closing statement, which I find to be a really superb statement of conservative principles. And I'm recommending that Mastriano be put forward as the presumptive nominee to replace Pat Toomey when he retires from the United States Senate in two years. Mastriano for U.S. Senate. Let's make it happen. And you can listen to this great speech. There is no doubt in my mind uh, that uh, we will pass legislation uh, in the House and the Senate uh, based on what we have learned today. I also want to thank uh, Senator Mastriano. Uh, Doug and his staff have been uh, enormously uh, helpful today. Uh, it really goes without saying, we would not be here without Doug Mastriano. And so... I'm going to I'm going to give him I'm going to give him the last word because I know even if I didn't he'll take it anyway he, because and he deserves to have it Doug I love you, Senator Argo. Thank you for being willing to use your committee to do this hearing. So we pulled the trigger yesterday morning around 9 a.m. And look what happened here. And as Jesus said, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Guess what? Guess what? <laughs> the truth's out there. Uh, media, you should have found these witnesses. You need to do your job. Now you see them out here. Do your job. You're essential to this republic, and without you doing your job, instead of being partisan hacks, this republic can't stand. So now you, you got some information, you got some witnesses with courage. These people are heroes to me. As a retired Army colonel, I look at them and I say, you guys are outstanding. Thanks for being a little step up. Because I am cognizant that the so-called tolerant people on the left will not show much love or tolerance to people they disagree with. And so thank you for standing, because you, you're... On the, your warriors being able on, uh, to sta stand for and save this republic. So thank you for st going forward here. I mean, in indeed, I started this off quoting for John Adams. We are in Adams County. You know, facts are stubborn things. Uh, there's a lot of hard facts out there, and guess what? As history and change in 1863 in Gettysburg, back then, it's July 1st, 2nd, 3rd. So on this day, history is changing for our country and state back at Gettysburg once again. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know how this happened in America. We, we can send 50 years ago, you know, men to, to the moon, but we can't have a safe, secure election in Philadelphia and Pennsylvania. What's going on here? It's got to be by design because we have the technology. We have stealth aircraft that are the envy of the world, but we can't run a, an election better than Afghanistan. Congressman Perry, you and I are in Afghanistan. And I don't know how in the heck Afghanistan has more secure, safe elections than Pennsylvania does. I mean, beat me up, Scotty. There's no sign of intelligent life anywhere. Really. We move heaven and earth with American dollars to secure elections in Iraq and Afghanistan and elsewhere. We can't do it in our own state. It's by design. There's people in Pennsylvania not interested in safe, secure elections. And we have to correct this. There's two things that need to, ha need to happen. First off, we need to make sure that the real winner is sent forth from this, this presidential election. And number two... <laughs> Number two, we need to fix this. It doesn't happen ever again. You know, I can't believe, I can't believe we're having this conversation here in Pennsylvania. You know, this is the kind of stuff I hear about that goes on in Belarus under Lukashenko or in Russia under Putin, under, under Saddam Hussein's Iraq. Really? Here in our state? I mean, this is disgusting to me. You know, I watched when I was uh, doing strategy in Russia, you know, Putin's about people stuffing ballot boxes. The same thing that happened in Pennsylvania. When I saw that 15, 20 years ago, I was like, well, thank God we're not like that. What happened? What happened? And we're not going to let it stand. <laughs> you know, I saw... Uh, you have to forgive people because we are a constitutional republic, so I'll forgive those that say democracy. But I saw one man had a sign in Philadelphia, and the irony wasn't lost on me. Democracy dies 
in Philadelphia. Can you imagine the irony of that? You know, where the light of liberty was lit in 1776, it transformed this world where, in this very same state, a new birth of freedom. And then, of course, let's not forget 2001, Tom, Todd Beamer, let's roll. You know what? It's our time to roll. This is no time. You know, democracy can die in darkness, in dark rooms with no transparency and accountability. We're shining light on this darkness here. We're going to take our state back. We're not standing aside in this hour. You know, as Representative Metcalf rightly said, in 1994, there was so much shenanigans and cheating in the Marks versus Stinson case that a federal district judge threw out the election results, took a senator out of Harrisburg, state senator, and put the Republican in because the election results were so corrupted. So we do have a precedent here, federal courts, and I hope you take a hard look at that here. Has our election results in Pennsylvania at the presidential and other levels been so corrupted that the results have to be thrown out? That's going to be a, a case you're going to have to make before the Supreme Court there, but it sure sounds like something stinks in Denmark or in Philadelphia. I don't know. You know, one vote, one person, one legal vote per person, and any cheating goes in there disenfranchises an American. And I can't believe this is happening here, and we're not going to let it stand. I don't know why it's so hard. You know, I know, I know it's, it's, it's hard because this has been going on here for a lot longer than we imagine. But in Galatians 6, 9, we're told by St. Paul, grow not weary doing good, because in due time you'll reap your harvest. We're going to reap our harvest. <laughs> The time for dithering, <laughs> the time for dithering and deliberation is over. It's time for decisive action. We have to protect our commonwealth and our nation. The eyes of the world are upon us. And let's turn the commonwealth of Pennsylvania from a laughing stock to the pride of the world once again, as we've always had been and need to be again. This is our day, this is our hour, this is our time. So yes, Mr. Franklin, a republic, if you can keep it, we're going to keep it. Can you keep it? Can you? Will you? We're going to keep the republic. Thank you, and God bless you all. Thank you all. We stand adjourned.